Hi there, welcome to another tutorial from First in Architecture. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the area command um, to work out areas in your floor plans. First thing you're going to need to do with this, with, uh, this tutorial working with um, the area command is you want to turn on your status bar which you can see on my screen here is down on the bottom left hand side. Um, in order to do that, uh, I'm in working in, um, on a Mac but the PC version should be very similar. You just need to go to your um, window, drop down menu, and make sure that you have your status bar switched on, um, which I do, and there it is. Um, so first of all, we're gonna look at just some basic um, elements to the command. So if you type in area and press enter, you've got the option to um, specify the first corner of a point. So let's say we want to work out the area of this square here. I'm going to click in the bottom corner and I'm just going to turn ortho off and then I'm going to click there and you can see I'm starting to get this um, kind of like elastic band type sh thing that shapes according to where I click. So if I click in the top corner there and then finally in the bottom corner and then I'm just going to click enter and you can see there it's telling me what the area of that square is. You can also see it's down here in the status bar. Um, the area has been worked out in uh, millimetres, so I'm going to talk you through at the end how to convert your areas very quickly from millimetres into metres square, millimetres square into metres square. So the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at um, finding the area of unusual shapes. So um, the method I showed you before is fine for a square but if you've got a shape like this it's not so easy so I'm going to type in area again press enter now you can see down here in the status bar um, it's asking us to specify the first corner or select an object or add an area and subtract an area which I'll come to in a minute um, so in this case we're going to press O for object and then enter and I'm going to select the object instantly it comes up with the square millimeters area of that object so even though it's an unusual shape it still works out the area for you now this can be really useful um, likewise we can do the same with a circle so area enter O for object enter select the object and there you go it's worked out the area and the circumference um, likewise on squares and things like that it also works out the perimeter for you all of this is in millimeters like I say I'll show you how to change it um, at the end so let's have a look at this floor plan here So let's say we want to work out the area of this room. Now what I've done here is I've drawn like an area line. I put What I tend to do when I'm working with floor plans in CAD is um, have a, a layer separately for areas that you just draw around um, each of the rooms. Um, and that you can just you know switch that off when you don't need it. Um, works really well. So area, oops. Um, and we're gonna press object, select the object. and that's given us the area of that room. Now I'm gonna press A for add area. And I'm gonna press O for object. You can see the cursor's now turned into add mode. So I'm gonna select this again. And then I'm gonna select this room as well. And now it's taken the total area of the two rooms you can see again in the status bar it's telling us the area. And there we go. So how do we work out the square meters from square millimeters? Let's have a look at some examples I've done here. So in order to um, quickly convert millimeters into meters, not square, just millimeters to meters, you move the decimal place um, three places along to the left. So say we've taken a measurement of 2576 basically the decimal point is at the end so we take that decimal point and we move it one two three spaces and we end up with 2.5 meters and there you go so when we're working with square meters and square millimeters we need to move the decimal place six places to the left so <clears throat> excuse me with this example here um, we've got this figure, we place the decimal point at the end, here it is here, so we go 
one, two, three, four, five, six, which puts the decimal point here, and that gives us a square meterage of 25.3 meters squared. So that's how you quickly work it out. So if it's simple millimeters to meters, it's only three places. And if it's millimeter squared to meter squared, it's six places. So that's a really quick introduction of how to use the area tool. Super simple um, and really useful, saves lots of time doing manual calculations when you're having to work out the floor plans um, areas uh, in your projects. Hope you found this helpful and uh, stay tuned. Keep an eye out for new videos coming from First in Architecture. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon.